to the race for promotion to League Two now. Oxford held the trump card in the early part of the season, but Dagenham and Redbridge are now very much in pole position. The maths were simple. Three points against Aldershot, and neither Oxford nor Morecambe could catch them. You know what, that Robbie Earl, he always did like a party. You aren't allowed to mention the P word around here, but however John still tries to keep feet on the ground, the daggers are going up. If we can do it, it would be absolutely fantastic. But if we need another game or another two, then, then that's what it'll take. But most certainly, you know, it, it would be fantastic to do it here today. There's a very good team spirit here. Everyone works for each other. And uh, our story and our season so far has been brought based on hard work and Hopefully it's worked for us. Dagenham and Redbridge should have been promoted to the league five years ago after Boston were found guilty of improper payments. Those memories are still very clear. I mean, it's been impressed, but we've got no axe to grind with Boston. That's nothing yeah. to do with Boston. Yeah. But we've kept together, mainly the same people. A lot of voluntary time gone into this club. Not only from the committee as it was then, the board now. Um, fans, supporters. It's unbelievable. It's a very friendly place. Financially, we, the club was in a mess, and we, you know the club had done quite well, but we were in a mess. So we brought in a group of, of young players, really, and, and had to sort of move on some of the more experienced players. What's John still like? Uh, he knows what he wants. Uh, he's got a group of players here who know the way that he wants to play, and it is his way. You have to play his way. Uh, but it's been good. It's been effective, and obviously everyone can see that we're top of the league. And I think if we get the point today, we've won it. In games have got difficult. We, we've been able to find the ingredient that's been needed. We've been able to find out, well, yeah, we've got to do in here. Well, we've been able to find, yeah, we need to push on and score some goals here. And I think whatever's been required, we've been able to come up with. And so to the final push, is all this yacht standing in the way of daggers in league football next season? It wasn't too long before the conference's top scorer, Paul Benson, was making his mark, just over hitting this attempt. But he didn't have to wait too long for his 28th of the season, reacting first to Sam Saloma's cross to put the daggers ahead and send the crowd delirious. A trip on Ben Stevens by Mark Mosley gave Dagenham a penalty, the responsibility falling on the shoulders of Dave Rainford. He stepped forward confidently to score, and Dagenham stepped ever nearer to lead two. With their minds on promotion, Dagenham switched off and allowed all the shots Johnny Dixon the opportunity to score from a corner. 2-1. John Still and his men know they can play better than they did today, but the most important stat was that they won, and they're back in the Football League. Well, it's unbelievable, something that we've all dreamed of at the beginning of the season. Now I really thought it's possible, apart from us. We've worked hard, and you can see the team spirit's quality, and that's how we got here. We work together, we work hard, he instills a belief in us, and we've gone out and proved it again today. We didn't play our best, but we ground out a result, and you know, we take the league on. This is surreal, this is you know, unbelievable. All, all of our players have come from you know, lower backgrounds, and we've all had our knocks, and we finally you know, got, got a bit of success and you know, we're, we're looking to enjoy it. I'm proud to have managed the club into this situation because it's been a big part of my life.